Now, I'm sure I don't even have to break this part down. The song used, again, the earlier Limit X Survivor, the Dragon Ball Super Terminal of Power opening theme. An iconic theme song for that time. But you want to talk about iconic themes. Now, here's, here's the importance of this thing, guys. And I and I have to give this some, some proper time to talk about how important this is. Listen, I'm not here to talk about what version of Dragon Ball Z you grew up on. I'm not here to talk about which version of Dragon Ball Z is better. But what I am here to acknowledge are the facts, right? And the fact of the matter is, is that when you hear this song, especially with that pose that of course is an easter egg to when goku first went super saiyan against frieza okay you combine all these things and you you cannot ignore the impact of this song the song of the super saiyan 3 ascension when goku first whips it out against majin buu and i'm sure a lot of us okay a lot of us watch it in japanese but a lot of us watched it on TV. And when we saw it on TV, it was obviously in English. And because of that, they had the Bruce Falconer soundtrack. And despite how some people or a lot of people, however many people might feel about the overall songs that Bruce Falconer provided for Dragon Ball Z for the Funimation dub, this individual track is still to this day one of the most popular anime tracks in history. <laughs> There is no denying it. There is no denying. You can listen to your Japanese tracks all you want. And sure, I'm going to as well. But the fact that they chose to use this song for this crucial moment, it makes and and, and it, it provides a deeper weight and feeling of everything. Okay, because at this moment, I couldn't, I, I was about to cry. I was literally like, okay, like they know how to strike the nerves, the good ones.